what 2 by 2 matrix R rotates every vector to 45 degrees. Okay, uh, let's think this one through. Let's uh, rely of some, on some graphing here because it will just make the picture clearer. So this is the y-axis and this here is the x-axis. Uh, and uh, let's do a little circle here. For example, okay, so if we take any vector in general uh, with xy, so let's say that this, this point here is xy, so this is any vector, and uh, if I need, and let's say I need to rotate it by 45 degrees. Now, any vector, of course, will have two components. Any vector will have an x component and a y component. So let's just say that this is the x component. Let's use blue. And uh, let's just say that this is the y component. Okay. If I rotate the green vector by 45 degrees, that just means I'm rotating the x component by 45 degrees and I'm rotating the y component by 45 degrees. All right? So we can think along those lines. Um, and um, uh, let's say that this angle here is theta. So let, let's keep it general for now. So let's say that this angle is theta. And um, uh, this is the x. And uh, we know that the magnitude of the vector is 1 because they said it's 1, 0. So this green vector has a magnitude of 1. Okay, so uh, I know from the right triangle here, uh, this is of course the y as well. So this is the y. So I know that uh, cosine uh, theta is uh, the adjacent over the hypotenuse, so x over 1, and the uh, same thing for sine theta, or y over 1. Okay, So uh, that means uh, if I need to rotate uh, the vector, uh, this vector here, by 45 degrees, um, I my rotation matrix uh, would have to be uh, cosine and sine. So uh, so the rotation through any angle theta, uh, whatever that angle is, um, will will generate uh, two new components. So the rotation theta. Uh, will have to equal for one for x y in general sorry about that my pad froze uh, okay so um, uh, let's start with the x components. So if I rotate this by some angle theta, I will have a vector that has uh, two components now, uh, which is x, y, but I've already determined that uh, uh, these are the cosines and the sines. So in general, uh, uh, the for the rotation, so this is the uh, rotation of, of a vector. So if I'm rotating Uh, 1 0 which is what I've showed you on this figure the X th this is the 1 0 here uh, by some angle theta I will get the X component will be the cosine um, and uh, theta and the Y component will be sine theta so now I can apply the specific case of 45 degrees so if I apply the specific case of 45 degrees I will get um, uh, 1 0 it will become cosine 45 I just fill in the angle and sine 45 so this will be uh, 1 over root 2 and 1 over root 2 uh, they're the same 
in that special triangle. Uh, now, uh, so, so now this is this is applying this logic on the uh, x component of, of any vector. Uh, now let me apply that same logic on the y component of the vector. So uh, let me extend this triangle here. So let's say, uh, so now let's work on, on, uh, on this guy here. Let me change the color just so I can distinguish it from the rest. Uh, so, so now I will apply this on this and then I will move it by an angle theta. Um, and if I do that, so let's say that this is theta uh, and I'm gonna uh, draw the triangle here. And uh, you can see that now uh, the X component is on the left. And uh, so the X component is on the left and the Y component is up. So this is X and this is Y. Right, and uh, angle theta doesn't come all the way here, it's just here. So uh, let's do the same logic we did there. Uh, we know from the triangle that uh, cosine theta is, in this case, is adjacent. This is the hypotenuse, so this guy here should be one, of course, because we're taking the vector one, zero. So this will be y over one, so now they switched, and sine theta will be minus x over 1 uh, which means that the rotation effectively for theta the, se the, the second case uh, for uh, for the vector uh, will be uh, for any vector let's call it v1 or v2 uh, this was this here was uh, yeah Okay, so this will be a minus sine because that's my x component because if uh, sine theta equal x, then x is minus sine theta and uh, y is cosine theta. So now filling in for the specific case where theta is 45 degrees, I would get the rotation matrix for 45 degrees of component zero one or of vector zero one, sorry. Uh, that would be minus sine 45 uh, and cosine 45 uh, which would effectively give me uh, minus 1 over root 2 and let's write it here minus 1 over root 2 and 1 over root 2 let's erase this okay and so therefore now I, I took care of both components through that rotation of 45 degrees so I can put the matrix together uh, so the matrix of rotation of a two by two for any vector through 45 or for that vector through 45 degrees uh, is so the rotation matrix 45 degrees for vector one zero will now be uh, or let me let me write it slightly different oops The rotation matrix uh, will be uh, the rotation matrix 45 degrees through 45 degrees of the x component or of the vector th through the x component uh, and then here I would have the, the, the rotation matrix 45 degrees through 0 1 so that's in other words, trans, uh, rotating the, the x component and the y component by 45 degrees. And uh, that would be uh, the final result of the two matrices that I got. So uh, I got uh, root 2 or 1 over root 2 and 1 over root 2. And then on the other one, I got minus 1 over root 2 and 1 over root 2. Uh, or if you want to write it in terms of sines and cosines, um, this will be, uh, like we said, uh, cosine 45, uh, sine 45, or minus sine 45, uh, cosine 45. If the angle is anything other than 45, uh, then you just uh, plug in that angle 
and uh, if I were to draw this it says at the end of the question uh, draw these particular vectors in the xy plane uh, so uh, this is my uh, one zero and I've rotated it 45 degrees so now this is uh, root 1 over root 2 1 over root 2 and uh, the y was here the 0 sorry the 0 1 and uh, this upon rotation will now be here and uh, by the way they should supposed to have the same magnitude because they're all ones so uh, forgive my uh, figure if it's showing one longer than the other it isn't uh, let me fix that okay um, and this is one minus one over root two and one over root two That does it. So this would enable us to rotate any vector through any angle in the xy plane through a rotation matrix R.